What is up, everybody? So a little while ago, I had a question from a subscriber or a viewer, and I wanted to make a video on it, and it, it got put on my like my to-do list for videos to make, and I just it kind of kept getting bumped down um, the list as far as uh, things that I wanted to talk about, uh, and it just got buried. But it's something that I did want to talk about. It's something that I touched on very early on in my channel's uh, life. But uh, something that I wanted to talk about a little bit more specifically today. And more specifically because it was asked about. And I didn't want to just refer them to an old video that I thought I could have done better. But I thought I would just make a whole new video on this topic. And this topic is uh, wearing glasses as a writer. Now, I think that this probably affects a lot more writers than uh, it might seem like. Uh, and, and I know a lot of us wear sunglasses when we write anyway, so it, this probably affects more writers um, than it doesn't affect, I think. So uh, let me just talk about some of the things that us glasses wearers have to deal with when we ride motorcycles. The first thing, the first thing is, right, we've got to take our glasses off and put our glasses on when we have a helmet, uh, a full-faced helmet specifically. So some things about that, I'll say, are that... Come on, people, this is a four-way stop. There we go. So as a glasses wear and a full-face helmet wear, uh, really the only way to get kit to get around that and still have a full-faced helmet is to get a modular helmet, right? A, a helmet that you can pull up um, from the front and then still drops down to be a full-face helmet. Now, those helmets are never going to be as safe as a, an actual full-face helmet, but still you are having some of the same benefits of having a full-face helmet if you have a modular helmet. Um, not all modular helmets are easy to get on without having to take your glasses off though. Uh, and I've tried, you know, when I, when I was interested in buying a modular helmet, I would try different helmets on uh, when I go to Cycle Gear or wherever you, you might buy your helmets from. Uh, but this is the important thing, I think, as a glasses wearer, is to try the helmets on. It's really difficult to say if a helmet's going to work with glasses. Uh, there have been some helmets that say that they work with glasses, then I've tried them on at the, the store, and they really just don't work. But a good helmet will even have like uh, a little slot that uh, your glasses can pass through here in the front of your helmet um, to make sure that, uh, that it, it's not hard to get glasses on once you put your helmet on. And again, some of you wear sunglasses, and it has nothing to do with the fact that you might wear eyeglasses to see. Um, but Again, some helmet makers are more uh, aware of those of us who need to wear glasses when we ride, and that is much appreciated. So hats off to you helmet makers who keep an eye out for us guys, uh, to us four eyes. <laughs> Does anyone ever say that anymore, four eyes? That was a, kind of an old term, an old pejorative term for people who wear glasses. So. Uh, to get around you know, wearing a half helmet or a three-quarter helmet and not having to worry about having to take your glasses on and off when you when you put your helmet on and off, uh, that's really the only way around it is to get a modular helmet. I've never had a helmet, a full-face helmet that I could, that I could uh, put on without having to take my glasses off. So the other thing about wearing glasses when you ride, uh, some other tips that I have uh, is this is to avoid the really thin wire frames because there is a bit of jostling of your glasses when you have to put them in. You know, you've got to be kind of rough with them sometimes depending on the kind of helmet that you have uh, when you put your helmet on. Uh, you know, and you put your helmet on and you put your glasses back on. You've got to keep that in mind because if you've got to really force your, your glasses back in your helmet, if you've got really thin wire frames, uh, you're going to bend them, you could possibly break them. And, you know, that's the, that's the worst, right? Because you spend a lot of money on your helmet. You spend a lot of money on your glasses typically. Uh, and then to have bought a helmet where you're going to break your glasses, uh, you just want to make sure that everything works together. So I cannot stress enough, if you see a helmet online that you want to buy, go to, you got to find a store where you can try it on. So my, my biggest tip would be just to make sure that you can try the helmet on because you got to make sure that they work with your, your glasses, right? Either that or you got to be ready to buy new glasses if they're not going to work with the helmet that you bought online specifically is what I'm talking about. If you can, get glasses that can either, that really wrap on your head really well, or that have arms that kind of go down behind your ears. I know that makes it hard to get glasses on 
uh, in a helmet if they've got kind of curvy arms. But what happens if you ha don't have anything that's going to really um, conform to your head really well is your glasses are going to start falling on while you're riding. You got to pull the visor up, push the glasses back, right? The things that you have to deal with uh, if your glasses are going to be sliding down your nose constantly uh, can kind of contribute to not to non not being a safe rider. So uh, that's something that you want to consider is uh, when you buy that helmet, um, does it feel like your glasses are going to start sliding down your nose slowly when you ride? Because if they are, that's another thing that you want to consider. That kind of is the end of my list of what you want to consider as a glasses wearer when, you, uh, when, you, when you're buying a new helmet or what, if you're just getting into riding and you're not sure about how, how that's going to work with you uh, wearing glasses and, and having to wear your helmet. Because, I mean, some, some states don't have helmet laws. <laughs> it's, all, it's up to you if you want to ride a motorcycle without a helmet. But I do not suggest that at all. Uh, I don't care if you're, you're, your state has helmet laws. I, I cannot stress enough. If you ride a motorcycle, you need to wear a helmet. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you on this topic. If you have anything else to say, or if you wanted to add something to a, something that I might have missed regarding glasses wearing and uh, wear, wearing a helmet on your motorcycle, leave it in the comments. Again, it's not just for me, but it's for those people who are watching who might want to hear a little bit more on this topic. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, please indicate so by hitting that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. I'm that one guy, and I am out.